guys, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this specialty reproductive structure, and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... How did flowers evolve? Well, that's a wicked cool question. Try this. You will need a flower and a knife. Today, I am going to show you the intricate secret love life of plants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's the first thing you think of when you think of flowers? Yeah, I know, a married man who's in trouble. Ha-ha! <laughs> but what I'm talking about is these. Petals, pollen, a pistol. Now, I'm going to show you something way wicked cool. So, get yourself a knife. Now, if you happen to be young or you happen to not have experience with a knife, hey, let me tell you right now, experienced people have all their fingers. Ha-ha! <laughs> Start by carefully cutting off a couple of the flower's petals to give you ease of access to the flower's ovary. Then, Carefully slice down the middle of the flower's ovary to get a closer look at this. Now check that out. You can actually see the ovules of the plant. <laughs> no, that's so wicked cool. <laughs> no, that's so wicked cool. Okay, so hey, how do flowers actually get pollinated? I mean, how does pollen actually pollinate a flower? And how did flowers, well, evolve? Well, hey, don't look at me. Take a closer look. At this. A flower is the reproductive part of an angiosperm, or a flowering plant. The male portion, known as the stamen, consists of an anther, a pollen-producing pad. The female portion, known as the pistil, consists of the ovary, which houses the ovules, the style, a long tube which holds up the stigma, a sticky pad, or pads. When pollen from the anther gets stuck on the sticky stigma pad, the spermatozoa dissolve a pollen tube down the style, headed towards the ovary. These ovules produce a chemical that the spermatozoa pick up on. When the double spermatozoa enter the ovule, one spermatozoa fertilizes the embryo, while the other fertilizes the endosperm, which will grow into the food supply for the embryo plant. Once both sections of the ovule are fertilized, a hard coat forms around the ovule, producing a seed, which can grow into a whole new plant. Flower evolution starts with seed ferns, which had specialized reproductive stems that through evolution shortened into cones around about 380 million years ago, evolving the very first gymnosperms. Some gymnosperms evolved leaves, which wrapped around the female cone which evolved the primitive ovary of the angiosperms about 175 million years ago. With the coevolution of plants and insects, leaves along the reproductive stem lost their chloroplast and held on to chemicals that attracted insects, evolving petals of the very first flowers about 135 million years ago. So now you know more about angiosperms. You know, being able to dissect a flower right at home is why science is so wicked cool.